we started a few years ago <clears throat> recognizing uh, the unsung heroes within the workforce. You know, we have a, about 3,500 employees in this city and every one of them dedicate their lives to public service. They um, decide that they want to do something to help other people and we wanted to recognize those that go above and beyond. Um, so every month we take the time to recognize those stories and those people uh, who have made a big difference in this city's history just because of the people that they are and the work that they have accomplished. Uh, we asked the directors and the chiefs to recommend to the administration uh, one employee uh, who they feel should be recognized for that. And the one other condition that we put upon it is it has to be somebody that people like to go to work to work with. Uh, when we decide to spend all these hours together every single day, it really means a lot when there's somebody there that can lift you up when you're down or can help you out and is more than just somebody that you consider a work colleague but you can call a friend. And so today I'd like to issue this special award that is named after Mayor Sophie Masloff who dedicated her life to public service. The Employee of the Month Award presented to Barry J. Orrible in recognition to, of your dedication and service to the citizens and guests of the city of Pittsburgh. And that is yours as I read this. <laughs> Whereas Barry J. Warble was hired as a City of Pittsburgh paramedic on June 16, 1975, as one of the first medics in our city and the nation. And whereas Barry would be recognized for his hard work and determination in 1977, when Mayor Richard Caligiuri promoted him to the rank of crew chief, and again in 2014, when I had the opportunity to promote him to the rank of district chief. Whereas Barry has been recognized across the Commonwealth for his professionalism and know-how. In 1998, Barry was recognized for a trench rescue call in nearby Forest Hills. He also serves as a hazmat specialist for the Pennsylvania Urban Search and Rescue Strike Team. And whereas over his remarkable career, Barry has received countless letters of thanks and appreciation from the public. His demeanor is known to be comforting and reassuring to people in times of stress and difficulty. And whereas currently in his 44th year of service, Barry J. Warble is also the longest serving paramedic in the history of the city of Pittsburgh. He is the final active duty member of the first group of paramedics hired in 1977. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, William Peduto, Mayor of the City of Pittsburgh, do thank Barry J. Warble for his decades of dedication and service to Pittsburgh, awarding him with the Mayor Sophie Masloff Employee of the Month Award for June 2019. Furthermore, declaring Friday, June 21st, 2019, Barry J. Warble Day here in our most livable city of Pittsburgh. Well, a couple of people that are here that would like to say a few words. Uh, Chief, if you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, it's a great honor for Barry, and uh, it just brings back memories. He and I served as crew chiefs on the same shift back from 80 to 85. I was on Medic 3, he was Rescue 2. And I, I can't, I, I tell the story for years and years. It was amazing how many lives he saved uh, cutting people out of cars on West Carson Street on the night shift. We called it Trauma Alley. Numerous accidents. And uh, if it wasn't for him, uh, and I always felt safe being in that car with a patient while he was cutting, cutting us out, cutting the patient out to, so we could put him in the ambulance. But, uh, Remarkable uh, things I've learned from him through the years, and we did have to drag him into the district chief rank. <laughs> it, 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 it took a while before he, he decided he was ready. He, he didn't want to leave the streets. So, uh, congratulations, Thank chief. You, chief. All right. Also, I'd like to call up um, 
uh, director Wendell Hisrick really wanted to be here and we actually had to change the time so that he could be here but in the role of public safety director every hour changes for you but uh, with us as well from the Bureau of Police uh, Chief Scott Schubert just want to say uh, congratulations and, and well deserved thank you chief um, I have 27 years on so that means you had 17 years on before I even came on the city You're of right. Pittsburgh. <laughs> but but that's I, not your I, fault, that's my fault. <laughs> well, we're glad, you, we're glad you, you, you stuck around because uh, more lives were impacted by the fact that you did stick around and more lives were saved because you stuck around uh, in everything you do for the city. And I can just speak on behalf of the police. Um, we appreciate what you do. I mean, I remember being a rookie in, uh, in Zone 5 in, in, in the early 90s and what you've done. Uh, just on the calls that we've seen you at, um, but how you've helped our officers as well over the years uh, through a lot of different uh, tragic situations. Um, you were always there for us as well, uh, for the community and for us, so we appreciate it and wish you well. And, thank you very uh, thank much. Thank you for what you do. Thanks. Before I turn the mic over to you, I just want to say it's an honor to have your family here for this special day as well. Um, your dad created and defined what a medic is in this country. Uh, I hope you realize that. Uh, he didn't have somebody to look at and say this is what the job will be in Pittsburgh. He and those that started the Pittsburgh paramedics started a whole new industry. And they were the leaders and continue to be the leaders when people come to train and to learn best practices, they come to Pittsburgh. And they set the bar very high for themselves back in the day and that bar has never been lowered. So you should be very proud of your pops. Chief. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all for having the good fortune to not having stepped in front of a bus at the wrong time. Um, as sort of a point of clarification, uh, since we lived through it, uh, there was no such thing as a paramedic when we started. We were called EMT2s because there was EMT1 and there was no paramedic program, so to speak. So even the first call that he has the copy of back in August of uh, 1975 shows EMT P2. And it wasn't until 78 when Nancy Caroline's uh, book uh, emergency care in the streets came out that paramedics became the word um, and of course this is back in the days of Johnny and Roy and we mentioned this to all uh, we're now working with our kids and soon our grandkids working in the streets and nine out of ten of them have no idea what Johnny and Roy means from emergency you know we used to get harassed and we would go into bars hey there's Johnny and Roy <laughs> Now, no one can remember that, so that's a good thing. Um, it's, uh, it's a great honor, um, all for just being here and doing what I really enjoy. Um, I don't have a filter that blocks out this, that, and the other thing. I see everything, and therefore I act on everything in its priority. So that's that's how I'm unmedicated. <laughs> so but that's a good thing. So uh, but it's it's very engaging and you have no idea how a call's going to go or your shift is going to go. It could be your last shift. It could be your last call. You know, people die and have been killed not in here, not in the city, but um, or you can also get injured. A lot of young folk get injured early on and have to choose another career path. So I've been really lucky in that respect. Uh, I did work a rescue truck for 35 years, which was great because we would have to engage people who they arrested them and they paid me for doing the same thing. But climbing up on a bridge, we go up and get them, they arrest them, I get a paycheck. <laughs> so uh, it was great, it was just fun. Um, and it's always great to um, leave people better off 
having met them than how they started. Um, you know, so many people are just confused or overwhelmed and you just, you're there to help them sort it out, get the right thing done. Um, and it's, it's been uh, a fantastic time to work with world-class paramedics. Uh, the, most of the folks are just unparalleled in the world. Uh, we were getting new uh, EKG monitors from the particular company. And they're finally interacting with us and they're astounded with how busy we are, how things break. Um, there was a, a joke that the old Life Pack four monitors from the 70s, they had a plastic handle and the thing weighed 45 pounds. When you pulled it out, the handle would snap and break. So the one representative designed a Pittsburgh handle, which was aluminum and didn't have a stop. It could rotate all the way around. And we broke a couple dozen handles and they said, wait a minute, this is, this is something we have to work on. So that's just one example of things where we just busy, <laughs> use things. And uh, well, it's uh, fantastic. Thank you very much for the uh, recognition um, I thank, well, every day I thank people I'm working with. They're kind of, hey, thanks for being here. They're like, well, you're paying me. Well, that's a good thing. But thanks for being here because if they weren't here, they couldn't take care of me or my family or anyone else or continue to do the good work that we did. So uh, thank you very much and uh, looking forward to uh, continuing my good work, um, you know, plans may have changed here from the last year, but uh, um, I still enjoy coming to work and I usually leave things better when I leave than when I got there. And that's what we always try to do. So thank you very much. <laughs>